A helicopter in flames, debris scattered across a neighborhood, and three people dead. The Oneava neighborhood of Kailua is still shaken up by what happened, and the area is blocked off. This all happened just after 9 this morning. Rescue crews responded to a helicopter that went down near Oneava Street near Kawainui Marsh. The crash right on the roadway and left a debris field scattered through the area. Witnesses tell us they saw the helicopter spinning out of control before it went down. And just the flames were out of control. It was almost as if it was against the wall and onto the bush of where the house is that could have caught on fire. So luckily, it didn't catch on fire. The propellers um, spun off of the helicopter, and part of the gas tank had landed on top of the vehicle that was in the garage. Honolulu EMS, the Kailua unit, was responding on another call right here, about 30 feet away from the crash, when they heard a horrific bang. They turned around and they saw the helicopter on fire. We have team coverage of the accident beginning with Manolo Morales, who spoke to a woman whose car was damaged by the debris. Manolo. Yeah, Gina, they're staying in a house here on Oneyava Street, just a few houses from where may, m much of the wreckage is right now. And they were still in a bit of shock when I spoke with them, but they're slowly realizing just how lucky they are to be alive. Much of the neighborhood heard the loud crash when the helicopter came down. Megan Lacey and two friends heard it louder than many others. When they ran out to look, they saw what appeared to be the chopper's fuel tank, which had landed on their rental car. I looked left, and like half of our car is gone, or at least the front half is. And we were really confused. We thought someone hit us, but there was no other damage besides that. And then I look up, and there's just a bunch of smoke. Lacey and a friend are visiting another friend who lives in the house. They were just about to spend the day sightseeing when the crash happened. They were already out on the porch and less than 20 feet away from their car. So you were literally about to get in the car when it happened? Mm -hmm. Maybe like a minute away. So. How crazy is that? Um, I'm still in shock. So. <laughs> She says there was a strong smell of gasoline, which was also alarming, but the fire department came shortly after and took the fuel tank away. Now, they are able to stay in the same house, although, of course, they had to get a new rental car today. And Megan Lacey says one of the first things she did after all that, call her parents, who are just as shocked as she was. Back to you guys. Thank you, Manolo. We've learned the helicopter is a 19-year-old Robinson aircraft registered to a leasing company affiliated with the No Victor Tour Company. Flight logs show that same aircraft had made frequent trips in recent days. A different No Victor helicopter made a hard landing in October on the Kaneohe sandbar, injuring the pilot and two passengers. The pilot said he had lost consciousness multiple times during that flight. We've reached out to No Victor for comment and have not heard back. Witnesses say the community stepped up to help immediately after the crash. Howard Dashevsky has been at the scene all day and has more on that. Howard? Yeah, Jen, the witnesses, by all accounts, played a very horror. Just heroic act by going immediately to the helicopter, rushing into the site with garden hoses. They were there on scene about seven minutes before the first fire teams got here. There was an ambulance that was actually responding to another call literally on the same block. So the ambulance crew was there within a matter of seconds. That was just almost miraculous to think that that happened. Um, witnesses came out immediately again with garden hoses, and they were among the first to respond in an effort to try to save some of the victims. You could just see everybody just running to the pilot and the plane and where it's on fire and everything. Just the cocoa and the cariness and the quickness that everybody responded without hesitation, without regard of their safety, their well-being. Everybody just jumped in to render aid. And you don't see that often. You don't see that in Hawaii now. You know, with everything that's been going on, you don't see that type of aloha and love for people of strangers that you don't even know. I really feel for the family. Uh, hopefully no one else is hurt. And this is kind of a, um, unheard of, especially in our neighborhood here in Kailua. Nothing like this has ever happened to us. So. And you 
you have to consider that it was just less than 24 hours ago that the I Love Kailua event was taking place right on this very street, Oneyava, about a half a mile or so down in the heart of Kailua town. And tonight, this end of Oneyava Street is taped off. Now, we can tell you that residents have slowly been trickling into the neighborhood. I imagine many, upon hearing the news, maybe came home early from work. But uh, here's another truck that is uh, just about to cross the police line, and you're going to see it over my shoulder. Police are checking identification. Nobody is being allowed in unless you have proof of residency. We can tell you that Doniava shut down from here on Olamana Street back to Kaha or Duck Lane, which people know about. So it's going to stay closed likely overnight. We can tell you that uh, FAA and NTSB investigators are en route making their way here, but they're coming all the way from the East Coast from Florida. They're, of course, the NTSB going to be the lead investigative team. We can tell you that there was a debris field that actually started probably about a block and a half away. A camera was found. A GoPro, more cell phone and broken glass found by the Racket Club, which is about a block and a half away. And then, as you heard earlier, the gas tank separating from the aircraft landing on a car, and then the aircraft that you could see behind me uh, under that white tent likely is going to stay there, uh, if not throughout the day, perhaps even for a good part of tomorrow. We'll continue to monitor the situation and bring you the very latest. For now, reporting from Kailua, I'm Howard Dushevsky, we send it back to you. Just Gina. Howard, thank you. Stay with KHON2 as we continue to follow the very latest developments on the helicopter crash.